in this video we're going to show you 10 things you can do in Brisbane for free and they really are free enjoy you can catch the city hopper which is a little boat that goes back and forth across the river for free now it's not the city cat ferry it's a small red boat and there's eight stops along the river and the stops are between North Quay down that end so here we go North Quay and here's the stops here the little red one to Sydney Street and you can tell the you can tell the hopper because it looks like a little boat um, and it's red and it's free This is called Beach Street and this is free too. People can come down and, and swim and there's lifeguards 365 days of the year. They're currently doing some work on the main pool at the moment but the other pools on either side, they're open. So it's a fantastic, you get a fantastic view of the city when you're swimming in this beach. <laughs> so even though it's winter, there's still people swimming here at South Bank in the free city beach. Um, swimming pools. And you can get free internet anywhere in Brisbane CBD or in any of the parks and gardens. So you don't need to buy a SIM card if you're just visiting and you don't need to top up your data. Just use the free internet and it's pretty fast too. So in the Epicurious Garden here at South Bank, uh, they have all these herbs planted and some vegetables. And every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, between 7 a.m. and 2 p.m., the volunteers who maintain this garden come down and, and are working in it. And but usually they have a, a cart down the front of the garden, which has bags of fred, fresh produce made up that people can help themselves to for free. I've got to say the smell is amazing you can smell all the fresh herbs and it's so beautiful walking through here it's just fantastic this is Roma Street Parklands and Roma Street Parklands is a beautiful garden with free barbecue facilities and lovely walks it's in the heart of the city and it's next door to the Roma Street Railway Station. beautiful they're so well maintained look over there isn't that just something these gardens were once railway yards um, for goods uh, deliveries etc it was a huge railway siding and what they've turned them into is uh, spectacular yeah it's amazing it's so good to see all the um, families and everybody out here enjoying the, walking around the gardens and having barbecues and everything yeah, it's great it's wonderful So here we are in the Cultural Centre of Brisbane. I'm standing in front of the Gallery of Modern Art, which is free to go into. Over here is the State Library of Queensland. And then way over there is the Museum, the, uh, the Queensland Museum, and also the Queensland Art Gallery, which we're gonna go and have a look at right now. So it's very easy to get here. 
You can catch a, a bus and get off at the Cultural Centre Busway. You can catch a ferry and get off at South Bank or catch a train and get off at South Bank um, train station. And they're all within a few minutes walk of this cultural centre, which is fantastic. It's surrounded by beautiful park and gardens and it's just a lovely place. You can easily spend a day here and it's all free. This is the State Library of Queensland and they have regular um, exhibitions, events, workshops and talks. They have a um, tremendous uh, amount of journals and documents, books with so much history in here that um, that you can come in and have a look at. Uh, on the ground floor, there is a, what they call the info zone where people can use their computers for free. There's also a cafe and a, a bookstore, so um, definitely well worth a visit. It's possible for Queenslanders to enrol as a member here and it's like a library membership for the State Library of Queensland and it gives you access, it lets you know of all the events and exhibitions coming. But as a tourist, it's also well worth, if you want to learn a bit about our Indigenous culture or Queensland or Australian history, definitely this is a fantastic place to come because the resources are unbelievable. This is a Queensland art gallery, we're going to go in and have a look. This art gallery is a great place to see some of our Indigenous art. And you don't have to go all the way to France to see one of Claude Monet's water lily paintings. Who? Rodin. Oh, wow. Wow. And that's Renoir. And that's a painting of his two children. It's coffee. Nice. Thanks. How's the art gallery? Mm. Great. I haven't been here for a few years and it's uh, fantastic. Things here that I didn't realise would be here. So I was really The Queensland Museum is also free. This is probably one of my favourites. This is the Gallery of Modern Art and it usually almost always has interactive uh, displays which can be a lot of fun. Uh, unfortunately it's closed at the moment with the current situation but it's opening up again in August. So it's definitely some, a place that you must visit if you come down to this cultural precinct. Apart from having the best view of Brisbane, Mount Cooter also has stacks of walks that you can go on um, all around that you can leave from, from here, which are fantastic. And down halfway down towards the bottom of the hill, there's the um, Brisbane Botanical Gardens and the Brisbane Planetarium. These are Brisbane Botanical Gardens in Mount Cooter and they're also free. Every Wednesday they have a market here outside the Brisbane City Library, right in the, the centre of the CBD. It's not one of the free things that I was going to talk about today, but we're going to walk through it anyway and show you what it's like on our way to where we are going. So 
I'm inside the City Hall for the City of Brisbane and this is where they have the Museum of Brisbane which is usually open every day from 9 to 5. There is a clock tower also upstairs on level 3 when it's open you can go up the clock tower and get a really good view of Brisbane CBD. Oh and if you're ever in Brisbane and you need a really clean bathroom these ones are the ones to come to not the ones in the shopping centre. <laughs> That's my hot tip. <laughs> In its day, the City Hall used to be the tallest building in Brisbane, but it's free to go up that clock tower and it's free to go to the museum. So that's something you have to do when next time you're in town or if you ever come to Brisbane.